small little um, group of cards. It is only two, but um, I was anxious to share them with you. So as I pull the final glue strings off, if I am so bad about that, people, I'm so sorry. I am so bad about pulling glue strings off while I'm talking to you. Okay, here is the first card. <clears throat> And this is a precious moments image. And I had purchased this image a long time ago. I mean, like five plus years ago off of eBay. Um, it's embossed. The actual image is embossed. And then I Copic colored it to match the paper collection, which I think is Studio Light, but I'm not 100% sure. And I used some aged blue frontage and some white frontage and that's what this um, speckling is on the sides and that's a heat set frontage and then um, I layered the blue kind of teal snowflakes around behind I layered um, on top of those the wild orchid craft um, I think these are cherry blossoms I'm not 100% sure and then behind it I had cut up some larger um, um, snowflakes for back behind that and look at the cute little winter bunnies oh I missed a glue string um, the cute little winter bunnies down here in the corner um, I put some lace around the edge and this pops up on some white um, pearl trim and this is just stuff that you can get at Hobby Lobby this is like stuff that you string around your Christmas tree and that's what I use for my stopper and then you can write your sentiment on here so that's card number one. And card number two, I'm really excited about. This is an image, I, um, a digital image that I purchased a long time ago. And I apologize. Please don't ask me where I got it because I can't remember. Um, I just loved it and I bought it and now I have it. <laughs> so I think it was in a UK. I'm pretty sure it was a UK company. So I know. Shut up, Rena, and show us what it is. So I'm pulling off glue strings. When I do a lot of snowflakes, I use my hot glue and I have a lot of glue, glue strings. This is it. And um, I think this is supposed to be like an Elsa inspired image from, um, you know, that movie. And um, I loved her. I colored, Copic colored her up. She's got a little owl there. And I just used white and silver frontage around her you can barely see the silver um but i love i i actually put it specifically over her hair um because i wanted it to look like it was snowing and i just love it um paper from studio light and um this is a spellbinders shaped die just lots of layered snowflakes and the little uh, wild orchid craft flowers on there bringing that card to life and it pops up like this on some really cool little snowflake and pearl trim that I got at Hobby Lobby I believe um, and some lace there and then there's your sentiment area so that's card number two so let me know what you think guys these obviously are not magnolia cards I'd like to know how you like these in comparison should I do other images I mean I do saturated canary as well but that's pretty much it saturated canary and magnolia so I'd really like to know your opinion on what you think of these cards and if I should um, you know be looking around at other images to to use on my projects all right thanks for watching happy scrappy day bye